All right, you ready to do this? Is that what you got? Dishwashing gloves? You want to look like a bunch of amateurs. What's this? A sawn-off shotgun. It's what you asked me to get you. It's gonna kill everybody in the room. Okay, so I was recording a video earlier and it completely didn't work. Basically, I deleted the destination folder for my videos. So, it didn't save anywhere, because there was nowhere to save it to. Which was quite annoying, because I would have thought, you know, Cam Studio would have said, This folder does not exist, please select another one. But it didn't. But anyway, I decided to do a poster for Killing Me Softly, and someone suggested I do a progression rather than a speed up. So, okay, that's what I did. In the last video, a couple of you guys asked me some questions about about poster design, about what I do. So, I'm just going to go through some of these questions now and answer a few of them, and then explain a little bit about, you know, the poster and why I did certain things. So, Ollie Design said, Love this series of posters. Love to give it a go myself, actually. What size page do you need to create one? A lot of people ask me what size I make these posters, and I tend to go for A4, A3, or A2. And if I'm really feeling crazy, A1. I say I'm, you know, feeling crazy because it's a huge file in Photoshop and it can slow your computer down if you go for A1. So A2 or A3 is usually the best size. Okay, so... Um... Some, uh, JCR Duncan said, um, I, if we've been with you since the start, you know, since when I started doing videos, and he's saying that my style is rubbing off on you, or rubbing off on him, and possibly my audience, you know, my style is starting to rub off on you guys. So he said he's a graphic designer also, and if it's a problem, if he kind of uses my style, since, you know, it's rubbed off on him as he's been watching my content, um, no, I've got no problem at all with you, you know, using my style. Obviously, try to avoid exact copying. I can accept inspiration, you know, designs where you've taken my work and used it to inspire your own. However, I'd rather, you know, not you not to completely copy my style as, you know, it's my style. So, um, Alex Sweeney said, how long does this actually take you? You know, how, how long do these usually take? Well, it depends really, it depends how complex they are. This poster for Killing Me Softly took around 40 minutes to 50 minutes, something like that. The minimalist ones usually take a lot less time, because they're not, not easy, but, you know, there's less blending, and less developing really going on in the design. Um, <laughs> Simply Sketch said, How has being one of the most amazing graphic designers ever changed the way you live? Um, that's a ridiculous. That's not a ridiculous question. I can understand. Well, I can't understand why you said that really. But I'm not an amazing one of the most amazing graphic designers. There's so many designers in the world that are better than me. Um, there's no way at all I can say that I'm one of the best because I'm not. Um, although I appreciate you know what you said. It's flattering, but um, you know it's not really changed the way I live at all. It's not like I go out in the street and everyone's like, whoa, it's you, Jack Woodhams. You know, people don't really recognise me. It's just, as I don't usually put a face behind my, the, you know, the, the voice, if you like, they don't really put a face behind the images. You guys don't really know what I look like enough to, you know. But I, I, I wouldn't say I really have a fan base. Um, I say, that, you know, you, you're just subscribers, you enjoy watching my content. You're more for like friends than fans. I wouldn't say you were fans. Um, Everyone's really, you know, kind of like friends in the community. Um, so yeah, you know, I don't really see myself as being, you know, the most amazing graphic designer ever, and um, in, in, in no way has changed the way I live either. Um, not, not really. Uh, oh yeah, you've made, I mean, I've made more contacts. I've made more people in in design and in the industry. Uh, I've met more people like that, but uh, apart from that, it's not really changed the way I live in terms. I mean, I can't really understand your question, whether or not you mean like financially or I don't know. But you know. I'll just take life as it comes, I don't really expect much, but, uh, you know, I work hard and hope to do something really good with it. Um, Nick, Nick, Nicholas Silas said, how much time are you taking out of your day to work on graphics? How long do you usually take to complete one design? Um, I don't design every day, because that would be overkill, I'd get quite, I don't know, I get quite bored of designing sometimes, especially when I've got no influence or no reason to design. That's why I do a lot of these movie posters, because I go out and watch the film, and it inspires me to uh, do, to do these posters, because I, I get the feeling from the film, 
the vibes, if you like, and then it, I like putting it down into design work. So, I mean, it's nothing really, you know, um, not so much I sit and do design work all the time, because I don't, I don't really actually design that much at all, but, um, you know, I just enjoy it sometimes, and depending on what it's about, so, yeah. Uh, Cashmore Sam said, how do you feel that all the new design channels are suddenly popping out of nowhere? And what do you think to the whole new YouTube style, i.e. Oh, cracked 3D text and flares? Um, I don't particularly think 3D text is a style. I think it's just a... Uh, well, I mean, obviously it's a style, but... It's a preference, I think. People tend to like 3D or they don't. Personally, I don't like 3D at all. I think it can look really tacky if you... Incorrectly. Um, how do I feel about them popping out of nowhere? I mean, I don't really mind. People are experimenting, they're enjoying themselves, you know, as long as they're not just doing it for money and doing it for popularity, if you like, and they're actually doing it because they enjoy design, you know, they've got the passion. But you'll often be able to tell if someone's doing it for, you know, money than if they're doing it for passion, because you'll often see their work differs. If they're doing it from the money, they tend to have a lot less um, emotion in their work, and it comes across, and you can really tell. But... Uh, you know, I don't really mind these channels coming out of nowhere. I mean, it, it's made my channel become less popular, so I suppose that's kind of annoying, but, you know, it's no big deal, really. Because, I mean, when I first started, no one really did graphics on YouTube, so everyone was watching the tutorials, you know, they were getting really popular, and everyone wanted to kind of learn how to do it, but now, uh, obviously because there's so many, less people need to watch tutorials because they're already doing it themselves. But, yeah, it's fine. I don't really mind. Um, but anyway... The Killing Me Softly post, I went to see the film at the cinema, and, you know, it was alright, it wasn't the best. Um, but visually, it was really good, but some of the dialogue and some of the pacing was really slow, but it wasn't slow in a good way. Like, um, it wasn't slow in the terms of No Country Old Men slow, it was just actually slow. Uh, but it was good visually, Brad Pitt was good in it. Um... In the post, I wanted to get across the, you know, the idea of grit. It's a very gritty, um, violent film that has kind of no sort of censorship. It's very, very gritty. So that's why I use the grunge effect and the grunge on the writing, make you know, get making sure it's not perfect looking. Got the American flag in the top to put across the American financial situation at the time where the film is based, just to you know, put a, make the statement of the fact that it's America. You know, and they were going through a financial issue at the time. Um, try to use all the fonts I could to, uh, you know, create a good impact. They look good. If you want to know what fonts I used, uh, I think they were a version of Helvetica. Then a font called Movie Poster font. It's actually called Movie Poster the font. Um, and that was it really for the mo for the fonts. Um, I mean, it took a while, the poster, but I think the outcome was really good, and it's probably one of my favourites I've actually designed. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, um, please comment in the section below, and then I'll obviously ask, I'll, I'll answer them in the next video. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.